middle of uh, Neymar, uh, chapter 3, we're in the second paragraph here in chapter 3. So we said that Lech Lecha, this instruction from Hashem to Avram, to go directions. Yeah, there's Lech Lecha, good morning. There's Lech Lecha, no, Maila Lamata, that's the more mystical Hasidic interpretation. Maila Lamata. We said that what it means that, that it's um, from Seichal and Elam, called Ryan, from the highest level of Chachma, all the way down to Eretz, to the land, which is the Malchus, and into Biyah, right, the Eretz Hashanah and through that, he reveals his true essence, is, is revealed as a result of that, that Yeridam, Lomai Lamata, coming down from above to below. Then we gave another interpretation, which is more of the verse, which is Milmata Lamaila, going up, just as we find in the in the story Avram going from Chara, from the house from an idolatrous uh, environment to Eretz Yisrael, will, will become Eretz Yisrael, to the Holy Land. So he's going up. Same is true that Lech Lecha is an instruction to us. So you have the instruction, with, well, so in the first interpretation we have Chachma coming down into Malchus, and as that, re- that, that represents also the Neshama coming to this world, down into this world, it reaches a higher level. Um, and then there's going up from below. And that's the Aliyah, like we said, Aliyah Mamata Lamaila, going from an impure place, going up to a higher place. And then the Rebbe connects this with the idea of Yaakov Halach Ladarke. Yaakov Halach Ladarke, which is an instruction us that we, uh, we go on our way, go to our own business. So Yaakov Halach Ladarke also has two interpretations. There's Yaakov Halach Ladarke, which is Mamata Lamaila from Tishrei, which is that you're, you're in a month that's full of holidays, and t- a time of, of, of Rosh Hashanah, and Kippur, of Sukkot, of Sukkot, all these days that, that, that fill us with sort of a time and inspiration. And then you have to take that inspiration from the, the, the spiritually satisfying month of Tishrei and bring it down from above, from Tishrei, and going down into the rest of the year. But then there's also the other Vyakov Halakhodarki. If we're saying that we're going Momata Lamaila, and the Rebbe says that we can connect idea of the Yaakov connect, connects to the Yaakov al so that's the question now is how is that related to the Yaakov al seemingly the Yaakov al above in Tishrei and now we're saying we're, we're describing now of rising above going up ascending even that is Yaakov al how does that how do we get that just to finish off again uh, in chapter 3, about this Aliyah Mulmata Lamaila. How we end up connecting this also with Yaakov al We mentioned that Yaakov is, comes from the term heel, Akev. And Akev is the heel. So we said, going from below to above, there are two types of serving Hashem. They're serving Hashem from top, top to bottom. They're serving Hashem from the bottom up. What's the difference? Top down means intellectually. That my service is rooted in my intellect. In, we, we talked about this idea that um, how there there is sort of a hierarchy with of our abilities and fact being our intellect, right? That's what really separates us from everything else. Is our they all find expression in the body. So intellect, which is the highest faculty, finds its of the body in our head. We stand on two feet. We stand up. Our head is on the top, and that is sort of our physical appearance. Our the, the makeup of our souls and our our abilities. So you have um, um, intellect, which is all the way on the top, and what's the lowest part of the body? The lowest part of the body is the heel. And that that, um, that the heel, is the angel of death in the body, because the heel is the most um, the, the most dull or the, the dull sensitive. So as we go down from the head, we go from the the, the mind to the emotions, from the emotions down to action, um, and to, uh, to the hands, and the hands, a step down even from the hands, complex and less sophisticated. And so, the feet are the lowest part of the person. Part. And so they're also on the feet themselves. The lowest part is the heel, which is the most insensitive. Right. So the part that feels the least. When we're going from above to below that. Of Hashem starts from the top. We contemplate, we think, thank you. We think and we and, and we come to an awareness of Hashem. 
rational uh, relationship with Hashem. And then the idea is that, that that should be carried all the way to all parts of our body. We go from above to below, that even our actions should be intelligent actions. That w- what we do should be, in, it should be guided and directed by the intellect. So that we're, and that's what it means to be a person. That it's not just that I, I think, you know, all, all day I'm thinking all kinds of ideas or I'm spewing all kinds of brilliant thoughts, but that my actions are intelligent actions, meaning that the actions are infused with that intelligence. So that's coming from the other way, which is from below to above. And as we said, Ekev Asher Shem Avram Bakayli, Ekev, because Avram listen. it's not just that because. Meaning that Avram's heel was infused sort of with that sort of conviction. What, is it, what kind of service is that? That's a service that's not limited to our intellect. That's a, a, a connection to God or a commitment to Hashem or a submission to Hashem. That's and so that, that represents the other way, which is I can know this any, way, any other way. I'm committed it more I understand less doesn't matter I'm committed and then that commitment has to be found even in the intellect so we, there's intelligent actions where my actions are, are intellect but then there's the intellect as it's inspired by the actions what, that my commitment to Hashem is so is is, is unconditional in, intelligently even intellectually not subject to uh, the, it's a conviction that has that, 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 that effect. That so there's between serving Hashem from the top down and serving from the bottom up, starting from action. Why? So he says, the Rebbe says, the end of the first paragraph, the last few words, we read this at the end of the last class, that the idea is that you go from that commitment below, from the heel, sort of, has, and from that, that goes all the way up to the Seichel Shabbat to the intellect that it should transcend the limitation of intellect. So what does that mean? We see here that we have an advantage with a full that's beyond reason. And that is so when our service of Hashem is dependent on our intellect then it's limited to how much we understand. And I'm willing to serve Hashem up to a point that I understand. But when it's a commitment that's not dependent on intellect it's sort of the heel, like the heel, that, 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 a, a, a commitment that's non-intelligent or be non-intelligent, that has an effect in the other way and it becomes limitless. And then even when I'm th- in my mind, I can reach that, that level of transcendence that, that could transcend the... We find this by Avram. You know, you think about Avram, we think about the, you know, it says, ben, ben, just exactly when Avram comes to recognize his creator. So seemingly, he came to understand God rationally. Right? He, he thought, he contemplated, he meditated, and he observed, and he came to the conclusion that there's an Abraham. That's sort of a, a, a service that's rooted in rationale. But we find with the Nisiyanists, we just finished last week's parsha, the last test of Ramadan. And, and these tests, what do they prove? Connection and commitment to Hashem was not just from the top down. It wasn't just rooted in intellect. Because were it rooted in intellect, there would have been oh, I can't go past this point. This is weird. It stopped. It's not adding up. And God, and I, I understand how God is everything, but, but once you're, you're telling me to do something, everything I, I understand about you, I've come to know you as. When we're contradicting everything that I represent, so, so that's where you're going to run up against the wall. If Ram keeps pressing forward, means that his commitment means from the bottom up, meaning it transcended even his intellect. Okay, so these are the two modes of service of Hashem, from up from top down and from the bottom up and, and the different advantages that each one has. <coughs> but now that we're talking about this bottom up, we're saying that's Vyakai Halakhodarkai, we're going from Yaakov, from Akev, going up. Go- so how does the well known statement of the Rebbe is that Vyakov to the rest of the year. Because Simeon a high note going down to the rest of the year. And here we're saying Yaakov Halakhodarkai also goes up. How do you go going up in this this idea of Yaakov Alukhadarkai Halikha Mulakalamaila giving that Yaakov represents So my So this too becomes after Tishrei or, or comes following the month of Tishrei. How does that work? The Hine 
which is the end, the culmination of the what is the 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 what how is what is the Avaida what is the avoda of those days what is what happens on those days we celebrate we rejoice and we dance this idea of dancing is is primarily and also begins it starts with the feet specifically with the heel that but that joint the bottom And when a person, by, by bending his, his, his heels, and he lifts himself up, dances, this his intellect and all, and, and all of his other faculties, that everything above the ankle, the heel picks up, the whole body picks up, everything goes up. That that too should also dance beyond its so a person that's self-conscious, it's, you know, and you're self-conscious, you're not going to be so willing to dance. But when you start dancing, you start jumping, you start picking yourself up. What happens is you become a little happier, and you start to become a little bit, and you start to reach beyond what you might know, your, your 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 normal behavior. And so we see that the feet. This is the idea of some is dancing, which is primarily in the heel, the lowest part of the body, and as a result, that lifts. This is also the idea of Simchas Torah. We find that Simchas Torah, there's no difference in the dancing. People come to dance, we're celebrating the Torah, and yet everybody's dancing equally. How so? You will think that the people dance more than the people learn less Torah, but it doesn't work that way. Why? Because it's the dancing doesn't start that idea. Uh, the Blat Gemara this year. And so therefore, I'm going to dance X amount. Right? There's somebody that learned more or learned less, and it's different. It doesn't work that way. Simchas Torah, you come to Shul, everybody finds a way. Even somebody who never opened, who didn't open a book all year, they find their way to Shul and they start dancing. And everybody's dancing equally, and that lifts up everything, even the head. What does it mean that it lifts the head? That the head too can reach beyond its limitations. That I might think I'm going to limit my joy, is going to be tempered, is going to be limited, but the dancing picks you up and elevates you and sweeps you away into a higher place. So that is Simchas Torah. We see the Avayd of Simchas Torah, which is in the month of Tishrei. What is that? Going from the bottom up, Simchas Torah is the joy. 